Praise the name of the Lord. You're welcome to another special edition of Daily Charge with the Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. We trust you're fine and that you're doing well. Today, get set, call your friends and family because God is going to bless you immensely with today's uh, edition of Daily Charge. Before we go into what we have for today, let's have a word of prayer. Our Lord and our God, we just want to thank you. We thank you for your hand of protection that is mighty upon us. We thank you because you are a provider. We thank you for how you have been fighting our battles for us. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. We thank you for our beloved viewers who have connected again this day to be blessed and imparted by you. We ask, Lord, that as your word will be coming forth, you stir up faith in their hearts and give them victory in every battle of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, open our hearts of understanding and give us mighty victories. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Once again, you're welcome to this special edition of Daily Church. This day, the 14th of April 2024, we have a very beautiful topic to look at. So I would encourage you to get your um, devotional and let's go through what the Lord has for us this day. The Symptoms of a Bewitched Life, Part 2. The Symptoms of a Bewitched Life, Part 2. We started with Part 1 yesterday and this day we'll continue with it. Let's go to our memory verse. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 1. It's the same memory verse of yesterday. But let's, let's take our memory verse. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that you should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. If we are to interpret that verse of the scripture, that you see the truth of the gospel, and you are acting otherwise as though you are bewitched by another force. And so the, the Bible evidently shows that the power of bewitchment can work on a person if the person does not understand the ministry of conflict. Either you're a believer or otherwise, there is the power of bewitchment. Let's take our motivational quote. Jesus' fire is the only antidote to the power of bewitchment. Jesus' fire is the only antidote to the power of bewitchment. And the prophetic word for today, as we declare from this room, you will not enter into the snare of the word of the fowlers in the name of Jesus. I take that again. You will not enter into the snare of the word of the fowlers in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our fire scripture, very important scripture. Let's open Act of Apostles chapter 8 from verse 9 through 13. Act of Apostles chapter 8 from verse 9 through 13. And I would read and I would encourage you to follow as I read. But there was a certain man, verse 9, called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one. So he used the power of sorcery and bewitchment. Verse 10, To whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. Verse 11, And to him they had regard, because that of long time he hath bewitched them with sorceries. Verse 12, But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized both men and women. Verse 13, Then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. So the Bible explains the story of the man named Simon, who used bewitchment against the people of Samaria. A quick question comes to mind. What 
is bewitchment. Let's lay a proper foundation so that you understand where God is taking us to in today's charge. Bewitchment is the use of witchcraft and manipulation to dominate his victims. That's bewitchment. Bewitchment is the use of sorcery and divination. Bewitchment is the use of magic, jinx, spells, and enchantment. Bewitchment is to use hypnotic powers to manipulate a person to do a thing that is outside of his will. That's bewitchment. That you, you, you hypnotize somebody and manipulate him to do things that is not, you know, his desire to do. Beloved, God is not happy with many people because they are not walking in the ways and the standard that he will have them walk. Some people are in places where their destinies are wasting. Many are not up to the standards of God. Those who are expected to be spiritually mature, they are not mature because of this weapon of bewitchment. Bewitchment is hypnotic in nature. It has remote controlling properties that regardless of intelligence and status, the person's life will follow the dictates and the manipulation of the enemy. From that our fire scripture, there are a lot of things we can pick out from that our fire scripture. Let's take them one after the other. From that fire scripture, number one, you would see that bewitchment is difficult to discern, especially by baby Christians or unbelievers. It can be mistaken for the power of God. There, you would see that the people who were bewitched, they were not able to discern that this person was not of God. In fact, they said that this man is the great power of God, whereas he was doing it by the power of bewitchment. You see a similar story in the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 16 and verse 16. How that there was a lady who brought much gain to her masters using the weapon of divination and soothsaying. And so bewitchment has a masking property, masquerading tendency that even believers who are not sharp in discernment will not be able to tell that this is bewitchment at work. It's one of the things you can draw out from that scripture in Acts of Apostles chapter 8. Another powerful truth and revelation you should take out from there about bewitchment is that a whole family can be bewitched. A whole city can be bewitched. An organization can be bewitched. A village can come under the power of bewitchment. Look at verse 9 of that scripture. He said, but there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city, a whole city, he put his whole, the whole city in his pocket by the power of bewitchment. He said, and he bewitched the people of Samaria. So a whole family can be under an attack and influence of witchcraft and bewitchment. A city can be bewitched. It's a revelation that God is, you know, revealing to us this day that we be not ignorant of the powers of the devil the third revelation i want you to know beloved of the living god until bewitchment is confronted by genuine power of light it can continue for a long time you see that in scriptures verse 11 of Acts chapter 8 he said and to them they to him they had regard because that of a long time he bewitched them with sorceries so it tells you that if you don't confront bewitchment, it can stay for as long as from a generation to the other. If it's not confronted in another generation, it will go to the next. And so bewitchment is, not, is no respecter of time. It can continue for as long as it's not challenged by the power of light. But I come to you with the good news, the power of light of the gospel. I decree for as many as are connected, every power of witchcraft, every power of strange manipulation, every power of bewitchment, spell, jinx, and curses, operating in your life, having evil dominion over any area of your life, let it break and set you free in the name of Jesus. Let it break and release you. Let it break and release you. Let it break and release you. Let it break and release you in the name of Jesus. Bewitchment has remote controlling properties 
that everyone under which, all right, the influence is upon will be remotely controlled. Will be remotely controlled. And I pray again for you, anyone who is under the remote controlling power of witchcraft, as you are connected to this broadcast this day, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let's go for a short break. When we come back, we'll continue with this exciting topic. Please don't go anywhere. Stay with us. God bless you. Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional for 2023 is now available. Volume 8. Get a copy today and some for those you care about. And leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional. Volume 8. Life-changing encounter with a gun that answered by fire. To get a copy, visit www.mfminkbookshop.com to have it delivered to your address or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely, the Lord is here. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2023, Volume 8. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. You're welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Before we went on the short break, I told you that bewitchment has remote controlling powers. They try to dominate their victim. I remember the story told by a general overseer one time he was preaching at the prayer city that a man of God who has been a man of God for a while, okay, somehow he had a house help come to stay with him to help him do one or two things. And all of a sudden, at the hour of the night, there was this strange feeling that he had to go and sleep with this lady. He tried, but the past seemed stronger than him. He moved to the door, opened the door just to want, you know, to have essential knowledge of this lady. But somehow, God helped him and then he went back. He prayed and then he slept only for the lady to confess in the morning that all those times that thing was happening, she was remote controlling him. This is the power of bewitchment. A lot of people have been remote controlled into doing things outside of their will. It is the power of bewitchment. A marriage can be bewitched. I remember the story of our, my father in the Lord who is the son of the Geo 2 He shared the story with us how that all of a sudden a couple just started fighting all right the lady was very aggressive the man was very aggressive and then the lady called the pastor and said sir i'm divorcing this man he's a very useless man and our pastor said yes he's useless i i agree that you should divorce him but before you divorce him please come and see me at so so time in the church. Not too long, the husband called and said, ah, I'm divorcing this woman. She's my biggest regret ever. I'm going to, he said, that's true. She's, she's a very useless woman. Come and see me at so-so time, which happened to be the same time. And so both of them met at the pastor's office. And so he counseled them and prayed tough deliverance prayers. By the time they would leave, they were leaving all happy, you know, hugging each other and kissing each other and then they left the pastor's office. At the evening of that same day, somebody called my pastor and said, what we are trying to scatter, you are trying to put back together. We will fight you. And so who could have known that something that seemed like a casual argument was a remote controlling power? and the power of bewitchment. That if one cannot discern, a marriage can be under bewitchment. And therefore I speak, everyone watching and connected to us,
whose family and whose home is under the power of bewitchment. Let that home and that's your family be delivered by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I've heard of several stories of a of, of witchcraft mother who would come to the house of a man who did not offend the wife. They just hit the man and pack the things, bewitch the daughter, and then go. A marriage can be under bewitchment. Bewitchment is to use witchcraft to influence action. Bible has its disposition where bewitchment and witchcraft is concerned. It says, suffer not a witch to live. He said, thou shalt not use the familiar spirit or the spirit of witchcraft or wizardry. So it tells you that when the Bible says, suffer not a witch to live, it means don't give bewitchment the privilege to exist or find expression in your life. The judgment of heaven where bewitchment is concerned is outright death. And so when you sense bewitchment, the kind of prayers you should pray against bewitchment is not the prayer of mercy, it's the prayer of the judgment of death against the works of darkness and against the spirit of bewitchment. What are the entities, therefore, that can cause bewitchment, you know, in the life of a person? One, false prophets can use bewitchment against the person. False prophets. And a lot of them are outside. Even the Bible warns that in the last days, false prophets shall arise. There are a lot of people who mask as genuine prophets, but they are using the power of divination. They are using the power of bewitchment. They are using the power of witchcraft. Or how do you explain that a so-called prophet will have his members eat grass? It's bewitchment that will make them do things outside of their will. A person can be a victim of inherited bewitchment. And so the father can be bewitched and there's a strong man or a strong entity that ensures that that bewitchment goes from a generation to another. I'm praying for you again from the depth of my heart. Anyone connected to this broadcast and you are suffering under the yoke, influence and dominion of witchcraft, receive your deliverance by fire. Receive your deliverance by fire. Receive your deliverance by fire in the name of Jesus. The arrow of bewitchment can be fired in the dream. Just like a brother shared with me one day. He woke up from the dream. Just woke up from the dream. I ran into the streets, ran into the streets. He had no money. He was restless. And what happened? He was just looking for somebody to sleep with at all costs. I said, come, what happened to you? He said, oh, bro, it's something that happened in the dream. And he had to fulfill the dictates of the arrow that was fired against him in the dream. A lot of people have been fired with the arrow of bewitchment in the dream. I pray for you. Every power using your dream life to attack you, let those powers die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every defeat you have suffered in the dream, because you are connected to today's broadcast, the Lord will turn it around for your victory in the name of Jesus. All herbalists are agents of sorcery and bewitchment. And so every step you take to seek help in the hands of herbalists, there is a form of bewitchment that has been given to you as a package because they are not of the true God. There is such a thing called witchcraft coven, the gathering of witches, the gathering of wizards. They, be, they bewitch men, all right, to do strange things that are outside of their will and outside of the counsel of God. Strange women are agents of bewitchment. I've seen a few cases how that somebody suffered with a man and all of a sudden one nonsense lady somewhere used the power of jazz, already having several children, and took that man from that woman and now she's reaping the labor, the fruit of the labor of another woman. Strange women can go to any length in order to bewitch a marriage or to bewitch you know, a husband. Rituals placed at crossroads have the capacity to bewitch. All these rituals, Yahoo Plus, all of these things are power of bewitchment. That you cause somebody to do something out of his will by a strange force and strange influence. All of these things are power 
of bewitchment. And listen, when bewitchment prevails in the life of a man, there are certain things that you begin to notice. And that's what our topic is talking about, the symptoms of bewitchment. There are certain things you begin to notice. Number one is the mystery of strange oppression and strange affliction strange things your mind will be beclouded by very dark thoughts all those suicidal tendency strange depression these are forces that are beyond you that have dominion over you to make you do things that are outside of your will there is no depression or suicidal tendency that is completely an emotional problem because there is a spirit that sponsors all of these things a spirit therefore i pray for you anyone under the dominion of bewitching power that is speaking evil to your mind that is beclouding your brain i decree receive your deliverance in the name of jesus another symptom is the spirit of error and strange abomination there was a story of a young pastor that i know a young pastor that i know who gave his life to jesus christ and then was serving god and then, you know, he met some lady and was telling the lady, come to church. Let me, let me sleep with you in the church. Now, the lady said, I'm a bad girl. But pastor, are you not afraid that you did not even say we should go and do it in your house or somewhere? You are saying in the church, in the church auditorium. It's bewitchment. Somebody has bewitched you. Bewitchment. Strange spirit of error and spirit of abomination. These are some of the symptoms of bewitched life. Let's go for a short break. When we come back, we'll put finishing touches to this beautiful topic and then we'll pray some prayers. God bless you. Stay with us. Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional for 2023 is now available. Volume 8. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional, Volume 8. Life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. To get a copy, visit www.mfminkbookshop.com to have it delivered to your address or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely, the Lord is here. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live, for the year 2023, Volume 8. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely, the Lord is here. You're welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. We've had a smooth ride on this episode of Daily Chat. And before we went on break, we're looking at the symptoms of a bewitched life. That once someone is under bewitchment, there are some things that serve as litmus tests to show that this is the hand of bewitchment in the life of a man. And let's continue from where we stopped. Once a man is under the power of evil dominion, hypnotic powers, manipulative powers, witchcraft powers, there will be some strange sickness that defy medicine. It's the power of bewitchment. In extreme cases, you would see the power of insanity. All these people going mad at certain times is bewitchment. It's not all insanity cases that are drug issues. Yes, I admit that some of them are drug issues. But some of them are situation and instances of bewitchment. When bewitchment is under oppression or in oppression in the life of a man, there will be loss of opportunities and falling from grass to grace loss of opportunities and falling from grass to grace. I met a man in prayer city who was given a letter, recommendation letter to run deliverance for two months. I said, when I saw him, he was almost like one. I said, if your problem is the problem of the whole world, 
you shouldn't run deliverance for two months. What happened to you? And then he began to talk. He was a very rich man, had several cars. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he started slipping out, having several girlfriends. People one dream, he thought, there is nothing, Daddy. I have a lot of money. And so he was a pharmacist. Strangely, he was supplying drugs to some big, big government hospitals. The first year, he went, supplied, brought out all of his contract and all the stuff, and then wanted to supply drugs for that year. The same man that attended to him last year said, Hello, sir, we have not seen you before. I hear such stories from the Jew, which is hard to believe. But this one told me himself, if I had to bring evidence of, I think, is it local purchasing order of former years? He said they chased him out of the first hospital. Ah, he went to the next. They chased him away. He went to the third. That was when he knew there was a problem. The power of bewitchment. He fell from grass to grace. I had to help him with the thousand naira to go and break his fast. What happened? The power of bewitchment. He sold his cars, sold his wife's car. Unfortunately, he went to another bewitched place where they collected his money to buy a 3.5 million naira jet. Bewitchment. He went to other places, bought cows until the Lord led him to the mountain of fire. That the power of bewitchment can make a man fall from what? From grass to grace. Power of bewitchment. What are some of the symptoms? Strange and shocking backslidings. Yes, is the power of bewitchment. In extreme cases, bewitchment can cause untimely death in the life of his victim when he says that the person wants to break free. Symptoms of, of, of bewitchment. The mystery of repeated and cyclical battles is witchcraft manipulation. Helpers farming, favor farming. You see that helpers are scarce in your life. Symptoms of bewitchment, marital turbulence. All of these things prove and show that there is a bewitching power in the life of a man. But it's my prayer this day that every power of bewitchment that is attacking you, as you are connected to us, those powers die by fire in the name of Jesus. Therefore, beloved, you need to have the assurance of salvation in order to address the issue of bewitchment. You need to be addicted to the word of God. It is the light of God's glorious gospel that can shatter the power, the dark power of bewitchment. And then you need to engage in prayer and judgmental, you know, battle against the power of bewitchment. Thank you. This is what God has for us today. But before we round off, let's pray a few prayers from our daily devotional. Pray the first prayer like this. Say, I overcome bewitchment by the power in the blood of Jesus. I overcome bewitchment by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, my spirit man, Receive fire and reject bewitchment in the name of Jesus. My spirit man, receive fire and reject bewitchment in Jesus' mighty name. It is so. We trust that the Lord has granted you deliverance by the reason of today's daily devotional. Please, I encourage you to join us every day. And every time you join us, please get for yourself a copy of this book, Mountain Top Life Daily Devotion. God bless you. Till I come your way next time, remain blessed. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.